Valentina Gele was born in the suburbs of Detroit, the daughter of ethnic Albanian immigrants from Montenegro. She recalls her parents working hard to give their four children a better life and a good education. But her childhood was far from normal. My father physically and emotionally abused my mother my entire life. Um, and that was something that I didn't understand. At times, my mother ended up in the hospital. My father ended up in jail. You know, domestic violence doesn't discriminate. It, it happens in every culture, no, no matter where you are in the world. Jada buried herself in schoolwork as a way of coping. Then in 2008, as her mother tried to end the marriage after years of suffering, Jada's father fatally shot his wife and killed himself with the same gun. I believe what triggered this was um, my mother actually separated from my father um, for about six months before this ultimately happened. And during that time, my father grew extremely depressed and angry and, and lost a lot of power and control. Jelai says her mother, 38-year-old Maria Jelai, tried to get a restraining order but a judge denied the request during a hearing in which the abuse claims were not discussed. The murder-suicide took place nine days later. Judges failed my mother. Um, the, you know, people not believing failed my mother and continue to fail women everywhere. Then an 18-year-old college student, she went to live on her own while her grandparents took in the younger siblings. I grew stronger. And I grew motivated to help the world understand that no one does anything to, be, to deserve domestic violence, to deserve to be murdered. Today, Jada is a program director at a healthcare organization and works against domestic violence in her Albanian-American community in Michigan. Her husband, Marco Rugeri, also helps. We are in a beautiful, healthy relationship, uh, you know, Marriage isn't scary when you know you are being treated as an equal. You feel loved and supported. Burim Gojuli for VOA News, Washington.